Hello, welcome to Ghent. This is the place where I work. Now I'm going to show you what I do when I come to work every day. Now I have to fill in my forklift number, so I have to check it. Number 450, 454, so I have to fill that in. All right. Yeah, when I, start, when I started there, I was very nervous and I didn't want to do certain uh, locations because I didn't know them very well. So every time I would ask my team leader to put me somewhere easier. But then he told me, if you don't learn, you would never know. So, And I learned everything and now it's easier for me. And yeah, I don't have a problem with doing any of the posts that I've learned now so far. So this is my job. I heard my friends are in town and I cannot wait to see them. Four new employees at Volvo Cars were given a mission. Together, they will explore our company from the inside. Our explorers are in Ghent to find out more about our scalable platforms. I got something for you. Since you're in Belgium, Belgium waffles. Oh, <laughs> awesome. The factory here is a perfect place to learn more, as the CMA platform was recently introduced and the pre-production of the new XC40 has just started. Anton and Cherie's mission in Ghent is to follow one of the first XC40s manufactured in the plant. Uh, Frederick, so are you excited to build the new, the brand new XC40? I'm excited and also all the people of Ghent are very exciting. It's a new platform, it's uh, a new car. Uh, but for Ghent it's very good uh, to have a new car and we are excited, uh, everyone. I hope that you can see all today uh, when you are at the plant. Got to be the V60 they uh, Excuse me, can I ask, ask a question? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing now? I'm tightening the, the brackets. Uh -huh. Okay, is this okay. also the assembly? The brackets for the, the bumpers. For the rear bumpers? Bump bump yeah, for the rear bumpers. Is this the same as you do it for the other cars, like XC60? No, no. no? It's completely new. It's a completely new process for the new platform, yeah? yeah. So is it your first time to assemble the? Sorry? Is it your first time to assemble the new XC? That's first time. Yeah. But uh -huh. that looks okay, I think. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. Uh, today they were very focused. I could tell. Uh, you could tell it was important for them to make it work good since it's a new thing. Uh, so they were very focused on their tasks. Is it the same uh, persons working this whole line, or do people come in and there's different things? No, there are different people. Food. So there are people from Lounge that are helping us, yeah. but there are also people here in the normal team. So we have two teams, 22 and 23, and then they rotate. Mark and Nana's mission today is to try to do some actual assembly work on the XC40. But first, training on wooden model cars. They are assembling the rear bumper and the front bumper. Then they know what to do and they learn how to do it and why they have to do it this way. I have a fallen nut. It is between the yellow line, so you can take you, you can take it. All right. No problem.
I think what I see, uh, the things you have, you have been doing here, you got the right mindset. Uh, you're ready to go to the factory. The complexity as well. Yeah, I'm uh, Walter de Moot. No, no. Um, I'm here for uh, building CMA. Now I'm going to show you the assemble of the headlamp. Screws in my machine. Right direction, yeah. Outside first. Is that good, good enough? No. First time it was not that good, but you have to try. You have to uh, try it more times to have the feelings. And we don't stop giving training until they can, okay, you can try. Uh, okay. assemble the parts. It was great going from uh, the training session that we had with Patrick to actually installing a light here on a real Volvo car. It's, it's a good feeling. And now, the XC40 that Anton and Cherie are following is ready to be rolled out. It's a lot of people that this is going to be yeah. cool to see. Yeah. Hey. It looks a little bit more like a car for the future. Yeah, than yeah, it is. Very conceptual design. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the new CMA-based car, if there will be, like S40 or V40, yeah, that will be nice. We'll see what comes out of the factory. Yeah. After spending a full day in the factory, our explorers leave Ghent for Daxing, China, where they will learn more about our other platform, the SPA platform. The newly founded plant in Daxing manufactures the S90, built on the SPA platform. The explorer's mission today is to experience the plant and share their thoughts about it. When I came in, it, it is very spacious and modern, well organized and clean. It's much bigger than I imagined. And what mostly impressed me, just after I saw the plant from Ghent, they are so quite uh, similar. So it's like uh, if there are no Chinese sign, you cannot uh, you cannot notice that it's actually a Qing plant. It can be a Gant plant or Tushlanda plant. And also we have to check the glue quality, the laser quality, the hemming quality, and so on and so on. And if you find some issue, say with one mis uh, welding or some glue? We, we put out and then you have to stop the bleeding on the station right now. So seeing the water test and seeing the welding tests done, uh, which I believe is done every quarter, uh, and the water test was done to every vehicle that rolled off the assembly line. Um, so I think that that is another point of reassurance that well, the cars being produced here are high quality. Hey Nana, there's a forklift driver. Do you think that we can talk with him? Sure, thanks. Why not? Yeah, let's go. So how do you like it, uh, driving a forklift here? I really like this job. I feel like my car is on the road. I learned a lot in the factory. I learned a lot in the factory. Yeah, he likes his job very much. As a forklift driver, he has, a lot, he has learned a lot from Volvo. And he has also improved his technique on driving the forklift. It was very nice. He actually allow, allowed me to drive his forklift. But uh, I was very nervous when I started driving because I realized it's completely different than uh, what we have in Belgium. And the forklift here is uh, very fast. We don't have that in Ghent either. I would like one though. Now I can say I've driven a forklift in Ghent and in Dachin. Good accomplishment. Volvo cars strive for leadership in autonomous drive and electrification solutions. And with our scalable platforms, we can make this happen. The explorers meet plant manager Mark Gombier, 
who tells them why the new platforms are so essential for Volvo. Basically, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Flexibility also means that at a lower cost, you can develop different types of products on the same kind of platform. So the SPA uh, platform is uh, for Volvo very important. Of course, for us as Daqing, very important. It's the product that we're making. But as it is a scalable platform, it actually means that several kinds of products can be made, which are really linked to the needs of the customer. But let's not forget, for instance, it allows us to make also the hybrid car, because very soon we will make a hybrid car, which is also very needed in the whole discussion about renewable energy and, of course, the commitment of Volvo to sell more than one million electrified cars by 2025. This S90 hybrid will for sure contribute to that. You have seen the plant now, but what is more fun to just drive the car. So I think it's time that you just go to our test track and that you can see for yourself what a fantastic car this is. In the first episode, uh, Hoken Samuelson told us that we'd be exploring and seeing Volvo cars from within. And I think that we've very much been doing that in seeing the, the plant in Torchlanda, the plant in Ghent, Belgium, and then here in Da Ching. Very different experiences, but I think all part of the same story and the same theme of producing a, a vehicle that is appropriate for the market moving forward and reaching the objectives and goals like electrification, uh, low fuel emissions, and uh, really pulling in the, uh, the influences from the original Scandinavian design. Uh, I think all of that is a part of the same story but it's being shown in different ways at each location.